the march. The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. Hi, I'm Dr. Edward Group. It took me 20 years of searching the globe to find the deposit of the highest purity iodine available. The new Survival Shield X2 is mined from seven to 10,000 feet below the earth in pristine, environmentally clean conditions. The iodine crystals we use are extracted from an ancient 300 million plus year old deposit deep in the earth. It's the strongest nascent iodine on the market today. It delivers 650 micrograms per drop. Experience the new formula. Experience the ancient purity. Shield your family. Survival Shield X2, available now at InfoWarsLife.com. X2 from InfoWarsLife.com or call toll free 888-253-3139. From the water table to our soils to the atmosphere itself, our world is becoming more and more toxic each and every day. But it's not just the air outside that's toxic. Indoor air has been shown to have two to five times higher concentrations of pollutants than even outdoor air. And most Americans spend 90% of their time inside using toxic chemicals within their homes. There are more than 42 million smokers in the United States. Well over a thousand types of mold and mildew linked to numerous conditions. And don't forget the fact that six million Americans live with pets they're allergic to as well. When I began to research these statistics, it was clear to me it was time to start cleansing my lungs in order to combat the toxic environment that we cannot escape but that we can fight back against. Made with organic and wild cultivated herbs and manufactured in the USA. The new InfoWars Life Lung Cleanse is here in a convenient spray bottle that can be brought with you throughout any toxic environment. Now available exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. General, what do you think about the FBI? saying that there's a terror alert on Monday about a potential Fort Hood situation. The police are shoving people, shoving Alex, shoving the crowd. Here we go, folks, I'm being assaulted. Whether it's the radio show, the news websites, documentary films, or the nightly news, InfoWars is the tip of the spear. Is this another false flag stage attack to take our civil liberties and put more homeland security by sticking their hands down on the pants on the streets? It's up to us to set brush fires in the minds of men and women everywhere. And that's what PrisonPlanet.tv is designed to do. You watch the assault Assad regime is going to be blamed or accused of using chemical weapons against the so-called rebels. What we see now is a war against reality. It's a war against the truth. It's more vital than ever that supporters of freedom become members of PrisonPlanet.tv and share their membership with up to 11 friends and family. Visit InfoWarsNews.com today. Become a member, share your membership, and help take the InfoWar to the next level. take you live to the Central Texas Command Center and the heart of the resistance. It's Alex Jones. Well, Obama and the globalists are invading Iraq with their giant Saudi Arabian Al-Qaeda army. They're invading us here with uh, poor mothers dragging three or four kids behind them. Ready to vote to take our guns and fully enslave us. And then we'll just collapse like any other third world country. Going back to Jakari Jackson and John Bound on the border. Doing a great job. They've been filing multiple reports in text and video every day for this broadcast and the nightly news, 7 o'clock central. You'll be able to see that at InfoWarsNews.com tonight. The big breaking news will be tonight and tomorrow with the ice whistleblower and all the other stuff they're about to do. So be safe, guys. What you're doing tonight is what is dangerous. Uh, walking over to those guys, big deal if they got an uh, you know, M16 across their chest. Uh, you know, or saying, get back. I mean, just stand there and let them come to you. You're, I drive through those border checkpoints all the time and stick cameras in their faces. Uh, and we're here to expose the criminal activity and report a crime. Uh, but let me guess, Shikari, they're not going to talk to you now that they got your ID and stuff. No, that is exactly right. He said, just send them an email and they'll get back to us when they get back to us. When hell freezes over. Yeah. Because you are seen as a joke. You are seen as an American turd. I am seen as an American turd as well. 
Yeah, so that's pretty much it. You know, it's a big uh, smoke and mirrors. They were much more concerned with uh, what the crew was doing out there on the grounds than, you know, what I was doing on the inside. Well, I mean, they see John Bound, you, Don Salazar, me, as, as, as garbage. We, we are seen as, as just there to pay the bills, and it's over. I mean, the country's going into the North American Union. The deal was signed to get rid of the borders. It's happening. Can you imagine if they let this flood in, how big the next flood will be? Yeah, these morons don't operate by laws anymore, Alex, or rights, or even common sense. It's all about fear, and I own you, and step back. And, it, and they're wrong. Yeah, well, make sure you get high def blown up with the guys and everything. And I would, it's your side of the street over there. I would go over there and get all the footage you can uh, from the edge of the area there and, and show what's going on. You guys want to drive into the other side and drive back through and ask them, hey, we have footage of illegals uh, in their safe house and just well, have these them. These guys weren't interested in seeing what I, I was trying to show the guy the video on there. And he just, you know, I, I'm a, I can't give you. No, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. But a, a picture tells a thousand words, video tells a million. If you. They will not stop at your window. They'll say, shut it off. You say, I will, once you look at this, I want to file a report of where the illegals are going in their safe houses. Uh, and then you say the name of the churches. And then they say, no, get out of here. That's the footage. That's the gold. That's the money shot. Go ahead. We'll see what we can do. Oh, we get a lot of those, actually, Alex. We'll uh, we'll start here and we'll keep going. By the way, you're doing a great job of what you got coming up tonight. And you don't have to do any of this if you don't want to. You guys, it was your idea to go down there. I'm just saying I would go over to the Mexico side. <laughs> it's so hellishly dangerous. You might just show, you know, out of the car window how the everything's boarded up, everything's shut down. It used to be great over there at that very crossing just 10 years ago. But this is the wonders of the failed state we're supposed to become. Then just come through and say, hi. Yeah, we're here from the um, U.S., and we'll say, turn your camera off and go, well, you got cameras. You know, I have full right to tape this. Say, listen, we want to show you a crime being committed. We want to show a foul report on the illegal alien safe house. Can you pull us over here? Because you're going to get pulled over to citizens and searched uh, as a default to see if you got drugs because you're, you're not a cartel that's paid the cut. So the way to not get searched is to say you want to be searched. Then you'll be immediately released because that's the code word for, you know, you're part of the club. So, oh, I'm giving out the secrets now. So uh, you can do it however you want, but it, it, it just I would just laugh at them and say, come on, guys. I'm an American. You can see that. We're here to, you know, to tell you about a crime that's been committed. The only way to do it is to come back through the border. That's the only way to talk to one face to face. Or you can drive around town and come up and knock on their windows or catch them walking out of stores. Yeah, there are plenty of them around town. When we even coming back to Austin, we're going to encounter a, a Border Patrol checkpoint. Oh, you, you get ready yeah, for there's, proctology there's exams. A, yeah, there's a huge facility down here that we could uh, we could definitely do that operation on. But we'll we'll yeah, no, I would go in and say we're here to report the safe houses, and they will literally just say, "Get out, get out of here." They don't want to know. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Now, if you're college students coming back through, you're going to get your teeth knocked out. Yeah. Or, or do they need help changing diapers or making sandwiches? You could ask them that and say, fine, we will help you change diapers. That would probably make them really happy so then they don't have to do it. All right, guys, I've been ranting here. The big mother loads tonight, I know. How powerful is this ice whistleblower interview you guys have? Well, we talked to the guy, and I guess for fear of a reprisal or you know, possibly a, something along those lines, uh, we didn't get as much dirt as we really were hoping to get, but he did help us out. So I definitely respect the guy for doing that much. Well, no, he gave you a lot about confirming the diseases are coming across, like TB, that's huge. Uh, confirming that they're just told to release him, and, and then he gave you tips in the investigation. So, you know, major yeah. breaking news with an ice whistleblower on the Texas border on diseases coming across and catch and release at night so the cameras don't catch it. That is sensational. You guys have done a great job. Uh, oh, yeah. And then you just say up front, his name is, we've verified who he is. We did that yeah. last week when we got his ID. And then now you've come down and met him, verified who he is, and we're withholding his name to protect him from reprisals. That's it. Yeah. Anything else? We'll get all over that. Anything else, gentlemen? Oh, uh, we're just looking forward to uh, doing some more reports. John? Yeah, uh, we'll follow your directives there, Alex, and we will, it, there's no telling what's going to happen with him. <laughs> well, do whatever you come up with and what you want to do. It's just that I would try to go report the crimes and I, and, and just show that the country's wide open. We need to illustrate that to the American people and to the people of Mexico. Now, if you really want to get hurt bad, 
go to a Mexican hospital and ask for free health care. I don't recommend uh, you do that. <laughs> That's a good one. Or if you're illegal in Mexico, six months hard labor busting rocks. They have the toughest immigration in the entire hemisphere. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, only yeah. North Korea yeah. and the other yeah, hemisphere. Come over, come over here, you get everything handed to you. We go over there, we're sitting in jail busting rocks. Does that sound good to you? Oh, yeah, that's, that's uh, I guess, the system down Let's there. Let's go. <laughs> well, you guys do whatever. You've already done a great job, and I know it's dangerous down there. Uh, so uh, we'll just look for these reports on YouTube overnight. We'll look for them on the nightly news tonight and tomorrow. You'll be uh, back with us. Now, look, you can stay down there all week if you want. I think there's plenty of reporting for you guys to come back Friday. I know some of you have children. Some of you got dogs you got to take care of. So well, when do you guys want to come back? Well, there are... Uh there are other groups we'd like to speak to. Uh, there's there's the sex trafficking industry that's been going on th from Mexico. We'd like to speak to the people that represent that, uh, to La Raza, uh, to more uh, ICE. Uh, we'd like to go to the headquarters of um, the uh, the uh, Border Patrol facility that's uh, up outside of McAllen. That's great. Why don't you go try to join La Raza? You and Jakar, you're not going to be allowed in because well, yeah, you're not in the right race. And then and then just point out, would the Klan be okay? And, and 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 then just uh, you know talk to La Raza, yeah. Well, and tonight, Alex, we're at, uh, we're gonna actually speak to the illegals when they start letting them out. So that's gonna be. We're, there's no telling what we'll get from that. Yeah, so we'll look into that. I gotta check with the guys, see what their schedules are, but we'll see what we can do. We'll at least uh, file some more reports uh, tonight and be available for the show tomorrow. All right, great job, Jakari Jackson and John Bound down there on the Texas border. And next, we can say into the California border or the Arizona border. That's where it really gets fun. Uh, good job, guys. All right, thanks, Alex. Thanks, Alex. All right, let's go back to the callers who've been patiently uh, holding. But don't forget, the White House is honoring illegal immigrants. Uh, that's the headline from The Hill. That, that's the mainstream newspaper that reports on the House that is nonpartisan. <laughs> White House to honor young illegal immigrants. You heard that right. This is the vanguard. This is the takeover. This is the end. They already got California. They get another 5% in Texas. It goes blue. Sayonara, baby. They will vote to take their guns. The armored SWAT teams will be directed to start the SWAT team raids. Civil war starts. And it'll be, it'll be CNN will be reporting, just like they're reporting Al-Qaeda's good and uh, the, the, the president of... Uh, Iraq is bad. They will be reporting the Patriots are bad. And the illegal alien armies, along with the Democrats, will be good. And they'll probably start killing Christians. I mean, who knows? I mean, it's, I'm, I mean, everywhere they get control, they do. I mean, that's down the road a decade or so. But they're not going to stop, folks. They take down countries. They know what they're doing. They're savage. They're hardcore. Republican leadership's with them. It's all a big party. Some of the articles up on Infowars.com right now. It's really a hot news day. DARPA brain chips to implant false memories. It's official. Uh, for you and your family. Uh, poll, majority of Americans object to engaging in fresh Iraq conflict. Border Patrol investigates reporters, but not flood of illegals. Well, they investigate enemy Americans. U.S. ignored ISIS threat to hype endless war on terror. Well, look at the World Net Daily headline. It's confirmed they armed them. I mean, it's establishment church groups aiding illegal immigrant invasion of U.S. That's confirmed. Large, in their own words, by the way, largest gas pipeline serving Europe through Ukraine blows up to cut off Russian money. Who cares if it increases gas prices for the people of Europe? That's the, and we haven't even gotten to the cop punching the woman in the stomach. A Pittsburgh woman suffered a uh, beating from a police officer, and the scene was caught on video. Yeah, for no reason. Why not just execute her? I mean, you know, she, she is a citizen. She is dog garbage. She has droppings on the ground. You're a citizen. They see you as one thing. Chump sucker. To have your pension funds, your 401ks, your rights, everything will be drained. Your women will be beaten. Everything you've got will be taken. Men will beat up your women. Uniform men. Nothing will, everything will be taken. Because you will put up with it, then the maximum will be dumped out on your head. Because you want it, you got it. Now, before I go any further, I really cannot describe to you how life-changing the Survival Shield X2 has been for me. It was already 
amazing, ladies and gentlemen, to...